everybody, Michael B. The Game Genie here, and today on Game Genie Reviews, we're going to be taking a look at the new Atari Legacy Edition from Arcade 1UP. So that's right guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Atari Legacy Edition, also known as the second Atari 12-in-1. This is actually the first Atari 12-in-1 that's been available here in Canada, and we have long heard tales about how great the original Atari 12-in-1 was from Arcade 1-Up, and we have been chomping at the bits to get our hands on this, especially seeing how the art and form factor is based on the stunning Atari Tempest cabinet. Let's find out if this cabinet lived up to my lofty expectations, or will some curious design choices make me regret my purchase. There is finally an Atari 12-in-1 available in Canada, and I wasn't going to miss this one for anything, so now the Atari Legacy cabinet sits proudly in my genie cade. In fact, you may notice its specific placement, and yes, you are correct that Atari Legacy, aka Tempest, has supplanted Burger Time in the coveted corner spot next to the door as the only cab with its art freely displayed. Burger Time is so iconic, of course, but it was impossible to deny just how impressive this cabinet looks. Arcade 1UP went all out with the Tempest Atari Legacy cab here as the original Tempest Arcade cabinet had a very specific shape and design and Arcade 1UP nailed it here with this new form factor. You guys know that the look and design of the cabinet are just as, if not more important to me than when deciding what Arcade 1UPs will end in my genie cade, and having this iconic cabinet recreated so well in the 3 quarter scale with that distinct shape of the original Tempest is amazing. The art on the cabinet is of course breathtaking and is a product of a different time. Some of the greatest cabinet art came from this era and specifically Atari and you can see I have purposely placed my three Atari cabinets side by side in the genie cade. I've always assumed where the action on the screen was so limited whether it be vectors or just the simple graphics they needed to go all out with the art on the side of the cabinet to create the illusion of what people were expecting the simple graphics to represent. Thanks to that we have some of the coolest art of all time on these cabinets and Tempest may just be one of the nicest with its detailed characters, space setting, design and color scheme. The marquee is one area where some people have been disappointed with the design of the cabinet as it strays from the design of the original arcade cabinet. The marquee on the original cabinet had the same slope as the side panel and curved up while the marquee on the arcade 1UP cabinet is on a 90 degree angle and does look a little bit out of place. I don't know why specifically they didn't recreate the slope of the original marquee but maybe it was a viewing angle issue or perhaps they didn't want to make a new speaker panel to keep with standardization of parts, who knows. All I know is that this is the marquee placement we have and it still looks great. The art on the marquee, just like the art on the side panel, is amazing, and the way Tempest is spelled out looks just so cool. The marquee looks good and has good even light distribution and no visible hot spots. One neat thing is on the left side of the marquee there is a space where the speaker panel was on the original and they imitated that here for authenticity, which I just love. The front kick plate is now the standard Arcade 1UP plain black with the coin door decal sticker. It's funny to say standard, but this is now my fourth Legacy Cab review, so here we are. Like I have said, I dig the coin doors, but I was cool with the game logos as well. One thing that is interesting here is that the J panel is more vertical than in any other cabinet I have seen, probably due to the depth of the screen and controller in the cabinet, which we will come back to. The riser is hands down one of the best they have produced to date because not only does it look awesome, but it is an extension of the cabinet itself, which is something I have always wanted to see from this company. The one area where they took creative liberties was adding the giant Atari logo to the front of the riser, but it looks awesome and no one should mind that. The bezel around the screen itself is incredibly simple as it is mostly just black mimicking the original cabinet bezel and in a way this will prove useful for the illusion of screen orientation which we will talk about in a minute. There is minimal branding on the bezel, just featuring the Arcade 1UP logo on the bottom and the Atari logo on the top. The screen is the horizontal 4x3 17 inch BOE monitor, the same one that was used in Star Wars and that is important because there are so many vector games on this cabinet and we know just how well this screen handled the vector graphics on Star Wars. 
The screen of course looks amazing and displays all the vector and regular arcade graphics beautifully. The only issue of course here is that some of the games on the cabinet are vertical and this has a horizontal screen which means they will be displayed in the incorrect orientation. Surprisingly, even the title game Tempest is a vertical game on a horizontal screen, marking the first time they didn't match the screen size to the marquee game and taking away from the real feel arcade illusion. I don't want to say too much more now as we will come back and discuss this during gameplay. The control panel looks amazing and does such a good job recreating the look of the original cabinet's control panel while accommodating the additional accessories like the trackball and additional buttons to play the other games on the cabinet. The buttons are the standard RK 1UP buttons so levels of satisfaction will depend on your perspective but I think they are pretty good. There is some interesting button placement that does differ from the original control panel from some games but with a cabinet with 12 games what can you really expect especially when so many different games used unique control layouts and formats. From top to bottom, this is one of, if not the very best looking arcade one-up to date, right up there with another Atari arcade classic, Star Wars. There are some minor issues that may detract from some people's interest, but overall I think this cabinet is stunning. Now let's talk about the included games, as here you're getting a myriad of Atari arcade classics, but will the issues with the screen size and control layout detract from your enjoyment? This arcade one-up comes packed with 12 of Atari's finest arcade games. Well, 11 actually, as Arca R, I think, was actually an unreleased port that was added for some reason. It's not my favorite game on the cabinet, and I would have preferred they kept Lunar Lander. The title game, of course, is Tempest, and it's an amazing arcade game, but the two biggest questions here are how will it look as a vertical game on a horizontal screen, and what is the spinner controller like? Long-time Arcade 1UP fans who purchased the original Atari Asteroids cab or the Atari 12 and one know all too well the pain that was inflicted by the substandard spinner that was included with those cabinets, and changing them out for Glenn's Retro Show spinner made Glenn Planamento quite a bit of cheddar. Well, is this spinner any better? Yes, absolutely. Is it a free spinning spinner? Absolutely not, but it's still really, really good, and you can play the game with real feel, arcade controls, and the appropriate amount of tension and precision to play well. If you still want to change out your spinner, unfortunately you will have to hold off as the GRS spinner isn't compatible with this cab. At least not yet, and Glenn is working on it. The screen, of course, isn't right as Tempest is a vertical game on a horizontal screen. This won't bother everyone, but when I see a game displayed on the wrong screen orientation, it does destroy the illusion of recreating the original cabs for me, and makes it feel more like a multicade. One area that helps is where the bezel is all black, and it almost looks like a smaller vertical screen with a giant black bezel, where it's all the same color. Realistically, I wish there was something they could do, like have a screen to rotate in these situations, like that new Taito Mini Cab, but it isn't a deal breaker by any means, and still looks pretty good. Speaking of games in the wrong screen orientation, Centipede and Millipede are on this cabinet, and guess what? They both play great, screen size aside. The trackball that is included on this cabinet is by no means as good as the GRS trackball I have on my original Centipede Arcade 1 Up, but it will get the job done pretty well. Overall, two great additions, but I will still be keeping my original Centipede so I can play both these games on the beautiful vertical screen. Asteroids and Asteroids Deluxe are both on this cab and are actually former Arcade 1UP marquee games themselves and of course are Arcade Royalty. Both games play and look exceptionally good on this cabinet as they have the correct screen size and the vectors look beautiful on the screen. The controls aren't an issue with this game either as they are mapped correctly where you control your ship primarily by using buttons to rotate one way or the next and then use the buttons on the right side to thrust, fire, shield, slash, warp. The funny thing is that while this cabinet is branded Tempest, the majority of the games are either asteroid sequels-ish or certainly inspired by, like Gravitar, Space Duel. Major Havoc is on this cabinet and is a great game. Does it play exactly like the arcade original? Well, not exactly, you see, as the arcade original cabinet had a roller controller that only rolled left or right. Here you use the trackball, so it isn't exactly the same, but kinda is, and plays perfect in my opinion. And then we have Missile Command, and this is where people will probably be the most disappointed because the button layout on the controller is different than the original and maybe a little awkward. The original used a trackball with your right hand and a three button layout in a straight row for your left. 
The controls are reversed here with that straight button layout for your right and controlling the trackball with your left. There is an inverse to still use the buttons on the left like originally, but the middle button is actually the player 2 button and out of sequence so it doesn't feel as natural as the original arcade and will take some time getting used to. I would love to have the time to share a high level overview for each of the 12 games included on this cabinet. However, where it is 12 games, that isn't very sensible. So what I would like to do is share some gameplay from each of the 12 included games so you can get a sense for yourself how each of them performs. Thank <laughs> you. 
So guys, that's my take on the Atari Legacy Edition from Arcade 1UP. This may be one of the very best looking cabinets Arcade 1UP have made to date. As a piece of functional furniture or to accentuate that classic arcade, it's a must have to see that Tempest art and shape in your basement arcade. Unfortunately, issues with the screen orientation and concessions with the controls make this feel more like a multicade than you would hope with one of Arcade 1UP's products. Despite those issues, I'm still extremely happy I added this cabinet to my Genie Cade. Guys, let me know in the comments what do you think of the Atari Legacy Edition from Arcade 1 Up? Thank you so very much for watching. This is Michael B. the Game Genie, and I'll talk to you next time.